Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to start a new chapter in science of class 10th. Successfully, we have uh, we have studied about life processes in the previous video. Now, in this video, we are going to study about our environment. So, our environment at the chapter in India. So, I will study in this class. So, first, in our environment, we should know what is the meaning of environment. So, what is meant by environment? So, environment and you know. So, the things the things around us the things around us is called as environment so nama sutta mutta iruvantaha ellavannu nav serisi adanna parisara adanne our environment environment anta kari agar what are the things that are around us so rivers ponds are there rivers lakes mountains hills uh, forest plants animals trees so, so everything are there and all these things which are around us, they are called as environment. This environment includes both, it includes both living and non-living. It includes both living and non-living. Living and non-living. So, e environment and the Tawandaga, Adrulagade, living and non living. It includes both living and non living things. So, our environment today, uh, for example, what are the living, uh, living things that you can see in our environment? Plants, trees, animals, microorganisms, all these are livings, living things. Then, non living, air, water, soil, all these are non living things. Okay. Now, due to human activities, today our environment has been polluted. So, today due to human activities, air pollution, water pollution, soil pollution, noise pollution. So, all the types of pollution today we are facing, our environment has been polluted by, uh, by human activities. We are doing so many activities and those activities made the environment to get polluted. Therefore, so we should study our, about our environment. So we have to avoid the pollution of this environment. Uh, this, we have to avoid the pollution of the environment. Otherwise, it is very difficult to lead. If, you, if we don't uh, protect our environment or if you go on polluting like this, one day or the other day, definitely our definitely we will not get a fresh air, we will not get a uh, potable water. That means we will suffer from, our future generation will suffer from so many types of diseases due to the pollution what we made. So therefore, we have to protect our, our environment from, uh, that is what we call it as, uh, uh, from pollution. Therefore, every year, June 5th is celebrated as World's en World Environment Day. So, every day there should be, every day we have to celebrate Environment Day because plants and trees are very important. So, we are celebrating Environment to create Environment Day to create awareness among the people that how trees and plants are very important in our life. So now, in this chapter, let us study about our environment. So in our environment, first let us study about what is meant by ecosystem. So ecosystem andre ye no. So idu modulu na study man. So what is the meaning of ecosystem? So ecosystem andre ye no. All living organisms, all living organisms, interact with each other all living organism interact each other and also interact with and also interact with non-living things and also interacts with non-living things so all living organisms interact with each other and also not only with the living things, if they also interact with the non-living things, 
दे इंटरेक्ट विथ नॉन लिविंग थिंग्स इन ए पर्टिकुलर एरिया इन ए पर्टिकुलर एरिया Why they will interact with living as well as with non-living in a particular area? Because to maintain, because to maintain our life. If you want to maintain your life, then there should be interaction between living and living and living with non-living. So this interaction between living and non-living and living with non-living in a particular area. to maintain our life is called ecosystem now in the particular area dali now so if we are living in this particular area we are living means we are we are living in this area to maintain our life to maintain our life in this particular area there should be interaction between living and living and living and non living this interaction between living and living and living with non living in a particular area to maintain a life is called as ecosystem so interaction irle beko iga namma question no why there should be interaction between living and living and living and non living because to maintain our life we have to survive in this environment if you want to survive in this environment definitely there should be interaction between living and living not only with living and living but and also with living and non living so this is called as ecosystem idanna now ecosystem anta karithive so this is very very important thing that you have to keep it in your mind agadre ee particular area dalli no badukta idivi andre a particular area dalli nodi living and non living ante living with living ante heladadre so now we are depending upon plants and trees for अब फार फुड अथवा फार गेटिंग फ्रेश इबिंग ना वि आर् डिपेडिंग अपा नॉन लिविंग ना नॉन लिविंग कूड़ा डिपेड आगे वि आर् डिपेडिंग अपा विंड वि आर् डिपेडिंग अपा वाटर वि आर् डिपेडिंग अपा सॉयल वि आर् डिपेडिंग अपा क्लैमेट सो ना दर इस इंट्राक्षन बिटवी लिविंग अंड लिविंग अंत तक सो इन ना इन लिविंग अरे इट मे बी प्लैंट्स इट मे बी ट्री प्लैंट्स ट्रीस सो अथवा बेरे अनिमल सो इन नदे नम इंट्राक्षन बिकॉज आन प्लैंट्स आंड ट्री वि आर् डिपेडिंग अपा फुड आन प्लैंट्स आंड ट्रीस वि आर् डिपेडिंग अपा फ्रेश एयर सो आल दी वि आर् डिपेडिंग अपा प्लैंट्स आंड ट्रीस आंड आलो फॉर् फुड वि आर् डिपेडिंग अपा अदर आन अदर अनिमल देर फॉर् इन ए पर्टिक्युलर एरिया देर इस इंटराक्षन बिटवी लिविंग आंड लिविंग आंड लिविंग आंड नॉन लिविंग सो नॉन लिविंग अरे विंड वाटर क्लै विंड वाटर क्लैमेट सॉयल सो विंड वाटर क्लैमेट सॉयल आल दी आर् नॉन लिविंग सो वि आर् डिपेडिंग अपा वि आर् लिविंग थिंग्स आंड वि देर इस इंट्राक्षन बिटवी अज आंड वाटर विंड क्लैमेट आंड सॉयल आंड दिस इंट्राक्षन इज का इको सम इन ना इको सम करी ओके ना वो इको सम तक देर आर् टू टाइप आफ इको सम वन इज का न्याचुरल इको सम वन वि कॉल इट ऐस न्याचुरल इको सम एंड अनदर वन वि कॉल इट ऐस आर्टिफिशियल इको सम सो देर आर् टू टाइप आफ इको सम वन वि कॉल इट ऐस न्याचुरल इको सम अनदर वन वि कॉल इट ऐस न्याचुरल आर्टिफिशियल इको सम अंडर न्याचुरल इको सम forest forest is a forest is available in the nature therefore it is a natural ecosystem pond we cannot make a pond pond lake rivers all these comes under that is natural ecosystem then under uh, artificial ecosystem so garden is an artificial ecosystem then aquarium aquarium is an artificial ecosystem then crop field crop field is an eco artificial ecosystem so under natural ecosystem has been classified as natural ecosystem and artificial ecosystem example for natural ecosystem forest ponds lake rivers etc artificial ecosystem example for artificial ecosystem are garden aquarium crop field 
ಎಕ್ಸೆಟ್ರಾ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ನೋಡಿ ಇವು ಈ ಗಾರ್ಡನ್ ಆಗಲಿ ಅಕ್ವೇರಿಯಂ ಆಗಲಿ ಕ್ರಾಪ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಆಗಲಿ ಅವು ಅವೈಲಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಇಲ್ಲ ನೇಚರ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಅವು ಅವೈಲಬಲ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ಬಟ್ ಅವುಗಳು ಅವುಗಳನ್ನು ನಾವು ಮಾಡಿಕೊಂಡಿರೋದು ಗಾರ್ಡನ್ ಈಸ್ ನ್ಯಾಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ನ್ಯಾಚುರಲಿ ಅವೈಲಬಲ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಮೇಡ್ ದ ಗಾರ್ಡನ್ ಸೊ ಹೊಲ ಗದ್ದೆ ತೋಟ ಇವೆಲ್ಲ ನಾವು ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡಿರೋದು ಅವ್ಯಾವ ನೇಚರ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಇಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ಅದರಿಂದ ಅವನ್ನ ನಾವು ಆರ್ಟಿಫಿಷಿಯಲ್ ಈಕೋ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಅದೇ ಅಕ್ವೇರಿಯಂನ ಸೊ ನ್ಯಾಚುರಲ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಪಾಂಡು ರಿವರು ಲೇಕು ಇವು ನ್ಯಾಚುರಲ್ಲು ಅಕ್ವೇರಿಯಂ ನಾವು ಮನೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಹಾಕೋದಕ್ಕೆ ಅಕ್ವೇರಿಯಂನ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡಿದ್ದೀವಿ ಯಾಕಂದ್ರೆ ಅಕ್ವೇರಿಯಂ ಈಸ್ ಎನ್ ಆರ್ಟಿಫಿಷಿಯಲ್ ಈಕೋ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಸೊ ಲೈಕ್ ದೀಸ್ ಯೋ ಈಕೋ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬೀನ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಫೈಡ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನ್ಯಾಚುರಲ್ ಈಕೋ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆರ್ಟಿಫಿಷಿಯಲ್ ಈಕೋ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಕಾಂಪೋನೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಈಕೋ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಕಾಂಪೋನೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಈಕೋ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಸೊ ಈಕೋ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮಿನ ಕಾಂಪೋನೆಂಟ್ಸ್ಗಳ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ನೋಡೋದಾದರೆ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಟೂ ಕಾಂಪೋನೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಈಕೋ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಬಯೋಟಿಕ್ ಕಾಂಪೋನೆಂಟ್ ಒಂದನ್ನು ನಾವು ಬಯೋಟಿಕ್ ಕಾಂಪೋನೆಂಟ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಹಾಗಾದರೆ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಬಯೋಟಿಕ್ ಕಾಂಪೋನೆಂಟ್ ಸೊ ಬಯೋಟಿಕ್ ಕಾಂಪೋನೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಯಾವುದೋ ಆಲ್ ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ಕಾಂಪೋನೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಬಯೋಟಿಕ್ ಕಾಂಪೋನೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ಕಾಂಪೋನೆಂಟ್ಸ್ all living components are called as all living components are called biotic components so ella living components na biotic component anta karitivi so what are biotic components all living component yav yavudakke jeeva idiyo avella biotic components ke barutte so all the uh, all living components are called as biotic component example for biotic component that is plants and animals they are living plants and animals are example for biotic components okay ಹಾಗಾದರೆ ನಾವೀಗ ಬಯೋಟಿಕ್ ಕಾಂಪೋನೆಂಟ್ ಅಂದರೆ ವಿ 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 ಗಾಟ್ ಎ ಕ್ಲಾರಿಟಿ ದಟ್ ಬಯೋಟಿಕ್ ಕಾಂಪೋನೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ಕಾಂಪೋನೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಹಾಗಾದರೆ ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ಕಾಂಪೋನೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯಾನಿಸಮ್ ಆರ್ ಮೇನ್ಲಿ ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಫೈಡ್ ಇಂಟು ತ್ರೀ ಕೆಟಗರೀಸ್ ಈ ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯಾನಿಸಮ್ನ ನಾವು ಮೂರು ಕೆಟಗರಿಯಾಗಿ ಡಿವೈಡ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೀವಿ ಲೆಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಸಿ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ದ ತ್ರೀ ಕೆಟಗರೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯಾನಿಸಮ್ ಸೊ ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯಾನಿಸಮ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಫೈಡ್ ಇಂಟು ತ್ರೀ ಕ್ಯಾಟಗರೀಸ್ living organisms are classified into three categories let us see which are the three categories of living organism the first one is called producer first one is producer so yaar producer all green plants are producers all green plants are called producers because they can produce their own food so the living organism which can produce their own food are called as producers yaru tamma aaharana taave tayar maadkontaro avarunna naavu producers anta karithivi example all green plants are producers because they have the ability to produce their own food they can manufacture or they can synthesize their own food a living organisms which can synthesize their own food are called as producers then who are the producers all green plants and some bacteria are producers ella green plants kalo matte kelavu bacteria galanna naavu producer anta karithivi this is the first one then second one is the second category of living organism is called consumer ಸೊ ಎರಡನೇವನ್ನ ನಾವು ಕನ್ಸ್ಯೂಮರ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಹಾಗಾದರೆ ಹೂ ಆರ್ ದ ಕನ್ಸ್ಯೂಮರ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಯಾರನ್ನ ನಾವು ಕನ್ಸ್ಯೂಮರ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಸೊ ಕನ್ಸ್ಯೂಮರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದೋಸ್ ದ ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯಾನಿಸಮ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಕ್ಯಾನಾಟ್ ಪ್ರಿಪೇರ್ ದ ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯಾನಿಸಮ್ ವಿಚ್ ಕ್ಯಾನಾಟ್ ಪ್ರಿಪೇರ್ ದೇರ್ ಓನ್ ಫುಡ್ the living organisms which cannot prepare their own food are called as consumers yaru tamma aaharana taave tayar maadkanak agodilvo avarunna consumer anta karithivi so or or we can define as the living organisms which directly or indirectly depends on 
depends on producer for food are called as consumers yaro tamma aaharakkoskara yaro plant mele directly athwa indirectly depend agirtaro avaru na consumer anta karithivi so consumer cannot prepare their own food producer they have the ability to prepare their own food hagadre ee consumer anta na ven tagondidivo consumer anna we can classify consumer as herbivorous which have the ability uh, that is uh, which which will eat green plants so plant eating animals so plant eating animals are called herbivorous then second one is carnivorous so consumer na navu matte adanna classification madodadre so consumers herbivorous carnivorous flesh eating animals are called as carnivorous then third one is omnivorous third one is omnivorous omnivorous andre which eat both plant and flesh which eat both plant and flesh so plant tinute flesh for example dog dog is a omnivore cat is a omnivore crow is a omnivore peacock is a omnivore because they will eat both plant and flesh so consumers are classified as herbivorous carnivorous omnivorous so plant eating herbivorous flesh eating carnivorous which eat both plants and animals they are called as omnivorous then the fourth one is called they are called parasites so who are parasites the living organism which gets food which gets food from which gets food from host in which in which they are living in which they are living for example mosquito will get food from from us they will suck the blood and we are the host so now iga talenalli ro bed that is talenalli va lai that is ticks lice so ivugalannella navu so jigne next enu ivunella navu parasites anta kariti bed bugs they are called parasites because they they will get the food in which they will get the food from the host in which they are living so elli avu batkirutta avugalindane for example so ಸೊಳ್ಳೆ ನಮ್ಮಿಂದ ರಕ್ತನ ಪಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳುತ್ತೆ ಆ ರಕ್ತನೇ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಆಹಾರ ಸೊ ಫ್ರಮ್ ವೇರ್ ದೇ ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ದ ಫುಡ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ವೋಸ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ವಿಚ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಪ್ಯಾರಾಸೈಟ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ಈಟಿಂಗ್ ಅರ್ಬಿವೋರಸ್ ಫ್ಲಶ್ ಈಟಿಂಗ್ ಕಾರ್ನಿವೋರಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಈಟ್ ಬೋತ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅನಿಮಲ್ಸ್ ಆಮ್ನಿವೋರಸ್ ದ ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯಾನಿಸಮ್ ವಿಚ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಫುಡ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ವೋಸ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ವಿಚ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ಆರ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಪ್ಯಾರಾಸೈಟ್ಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಮಸ್ಕಿಟೋ ಬೆಡ್ ಬಗ್ಸ್ ಅರ್ಬಿವೋರಸ್ Uh, that is cow sheep goat they are herbivorous carnivorous lion tiger leopard cheetah omnivorous dog cat crow peacock parasites bed bugs lice ticks so they are called as parasites so like this we have classified consumer as herbivorous carnivorous omnivorous and parasites then the third one is called as we call them as con- uh, that is uh, decomposers the third one is called decomposers so who are decomposers very important question for the examination they will ask so what are decomposers what is the role of decomposers in the ecosystem so what are decom what are decomposers the living organism which breaks the living organisms which breaks complex substances into simple substances the living organisms which breaks complex substances into simple substances they are called decomposers so yaro or yaro complex substances na simple substance agi convert martaro avrunna they are called as decomposers agare who are the decomposers so bacteria and fungi 
bacteria and fungi they are decomposers they will break complex material into simple material and they will mix that simple material into the soil so agadre uh, what are decomposers the living organisms which breaks complex uh, substances into simple substances example for decomposers are bacteria and fungi then what is the role of decomposers so decomposers to role heladadre the first role is that is uh, the first uh, it helps it helps in recycle so recycle madodike sahaya madutte this is the first uh, role of decomposers one it increases since uh, it mixes the simple substances in the soil it increases the soil fertility so soil the soil the fertility na increase madutte so it helps in recycle it increase it increases the soil fertility so soil fertility na increase madta hogutte so adr jothege so idu so third one is it converts it converts complex into simple substances so complex na simple substance age convert madutte so idu this is the role of decomposers so what is the role of decomposers so what are decomposers the living organisms which breaks complex substances into simple substances are called as decomposers example bacteria and fungi the role of decomposers are it helps in recycle it increases the soil fertility and it converts complex into simple substances ನೋಡಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ರೀಸೈಕಲ್ ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ಅಂದರೆ ಅದರ ಅರ್ಥ ಸೊ ವೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಕನ್ವರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಕಾಂಪ್ಲೆಕ್ಸ್ ಇಂಟು ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ದಟ್ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ದ ಸಾಯಿಲ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ರೀಸೈಕಲ್ ಸೊ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಯಾವುದು ನಾವು ಮಣ್ಣಿಂದ ಪಡೆದಿರ್ತೀವೋ ವಾಪಸ್ ಪುನಃ ಅದು ಮಣ್ಣಿಗೆ ಹೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಅದನ್ನು ನಾವು ರೀಸೈಕಲ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಬಯೋ ಜಿಯೋ ಕೆಮಿಕಲ್ ಸೈಕಲ್ ಸೊ ಎಲ್ಲಿಂದ ಹೊರಟಿತ್ತು ಮತ್ತು ವಾಪಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿಗೆ ಹೋಗಿದೆ ದ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ದ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ದ ಥಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಇಟ್ whatever the requirement it is there uh, whatever the minerals it required that it will get from the soil again the same mineral will get into the soil when the uh, when the plant die at that time the decomposers will decay that one and again whatever the minerals present in the plant will get again mixed up mixed up with the soil so like this it it will happens so this is what we this is the first part that we are going to that we have studied uh, in our environment and the second part will be studied in the next video till then thank you very much so those who, those who are not subscribed my channel please subscribe my channel those who already subscribe my youtube channel please watch my videos like my videos and share my videos and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification for the next video so till then thank you very much